of everlasting love and commitment, a bond between a husband and a wife. Engagement and wedding rings are more than just a financial investment. So when a Houston couple contacted Channel 2 Investigates, angry that their diamond ring had been altered, well, our Amy Davis started to dig, and she discovered complaints from across the country against a major jewelry chain accused of swapping diamonds for cheaper ones. Tonight, Amy reveals what she's uncovered and the steps to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. Their relationship, his proposal, her wedding ring. It was pretty much kind of what I had pictured or imagined, you know, growing up as a little girl. Pretty picture perfect for Sophie and Aaron Long, but six weeks before the big day, doctors diagnosed Sophie with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It meant chemo and weight loss, but after seven months, she beat cancer. I like that. Sophie needed her wedding band and engagement ring resized. She says K Jewelers, where Aaron purchased the set, said they couldn't be altered as needed, so it would replace the rings with new ones, two sizes bigger. At that point, I was ecstatic because I would rather wear something than nothing. A few weeks later, Sophie picked up her new rings at the Galleria store. But it was just nice to wear a ring because I hadn't worn one in so long. It wasn't until six months later when she dropped into another K Jewelers to have it cleaned and inspected as required by the warranty that she was alerted to a huge problem by a store employee. She asked me, do you know about your center stone? And I kind of looked at her like, what about it? And she said, well, it's fake. Fake, worthless. Even though Aaron shelled out $6,500 for the rings just two years prior. And what's worse, K Jewelers claimed Aaron came in months earlier with Sophie's center stone missing and asked them to put in a fake cubic zirconia, saying he couldn't afford another diamond. I don't know if it's at the Galleria store or somewhere out there in their factory. Is They're trying to cover up for some crooked business that's going on. Crooked because Aaron said the K Jewelers warranty he purchased gave guarantees the company will replace any diamond if it chips, breaks, or is lost. If he did lose it, the claim by K Jewelers makes no sense. What I think's happened is they basically swap diamonds. And the Longs are not alone. On Facebook, frustrated customers are posting to a page called Boycott K Jewelers. K is owned by Signet Jewelers, the same company that owns Zales and Jared. Chrissy Clarius in West Virginia says she discovered her diamond was replaced with moissanite, a cheaper stone. Heidi Rivera told me the same thing happened to her her and Nicole Largent's entire ring disappeared. Corporate management is at fault for allowing this thing to happen. Ben Gordon is an independent jewelry appraiser in Houston. As soon as they heard about it, they should have gone in and tightened up the intake and outgoing of repair jobs. Signet won't comment on specifics of any of the cases, but we do know in each instance that a customer claims a ring was lost or a diamond was swapped, the jewelry was sent out of the case store for repairs. And when that happens, employees should check the stones before they leave the store under a microscope and immediately when they get back. They should make a sketch of the inclusions in the diamond. That way, when it comes back, they'll make sure that those inclusions are still in the diamond. If your diamond comes with a Gemological Science International or GSI certificate, the stone has a number inscribed on it. Gordon says you should ask to see your diamond under the microscope too, when you leave it and then when you pick it up again. Look for that GSI number and if there isn't one, look for and note any inclusions or flaws on the diamond. K Jewelers did eventually replace the jewelry or stones of each of these women after the chain said it investigated their claims. Sophie and Aaron still have to take the ring to K for biannual inspection, but they say they'll be more careful from now on. We'll definitely be taking it and watching them. We won't be dropping it off or anything like that. Getting your ring appraised by an independent third party is always a good idea, and you can also buy insurance independently instead of that store warranty. Most jewelry stores like K Jewelers will clean your jewelry for you anytime for free when you take it in. I'm consumer expert Amy Davis, KPRC, Channel 2 News.